ओके थैंक यू श्री कुमार केतकर एट मिनट सर एट मिनट ओके थैंक यू थैंक यू चेयरमैन सर वेल ओनली पॉइंट एट द आउटसेट आई वॉन्ट टू मेक इज ऑल इकोनॉमिक्स इज इसेंशियली पोलिटिकल इकोनॉमी एंड आई थिंक और फाइनेंस मिनिस्टर नो दिस बेटर देन मेनी हियर बिकॉज शी इज फ्रॉम जे एन यू एंड इन जे एन यू इट वॉज पोलिटिकल इकोनॉमी दैट डिटर्मिन नॉट ओनली द क्लासेस बट ऑल्सो द स्टूडेंट मूवमेंट्स इनफैक्ट ऑल इकोनॉमी इज ऑल्सो क्लास पॉलिटिक्स एंड क्लास पॉलिटिक्स is what john robinson said is economy about so in that situation we have to understand what exactly is the benefit given to which classes by supplementaries or by the original budget which classes benefit and which classes don't when we discuss unemployment when we discuss farmers we are also discussing the class politics essentially the price rise or unemployment is not in the upper classes which rule the society which form the governments and which define the economy the people below i am not talking about below poverty line or something like that i am merely saying that those who are not even ready are those who are not even given chance to work in factories or farms because the economy is down and neither farming sector nor the industrial sector is growing no investment coming from abroad no investment coming from within the country and therefore the finance minister tries to show that actually it is a problem which is god given and not by man given or the government given or the class given at present the situation is essentially that the farming sector is being deprived of their essentials including the fertilizer subsidies thereby further depriving them already they are deprived and depraved already the farmers have begun mobilization around delhi second time and if the farming community suffers like this the essential unemployment comes from the farming sector because the pressure of population cannot be easily accommodated in the farming sector if the population cannot be that is the working population the working people cannot be accommodated in agriculture they will be look for they will be looking for industry and if industry is not coming they become complete lumpen class and if the lumpen class becomes the dominant class on the streets we know what happens is riots and crime so economy has a direct relationship with crime with riots with communal riots and with entire destabilization of social structure and destabilization of the families my honorable colleagues have mentioned about the federalism i just want to give one example of that federalism and how non bjp governments are not given the proper treatment maharashtra provides the highest amount highest contribution comes from maharashtra for direct taxes and gst and so far at least till may the data is available 15000 crore rupees have not been given to maharashtra of course it is possible with the change of government in maharashtra now suddenly they might give because it is not a non bjp government anymore in maharashtra the question is the non bjp governments when they are benefited they are looked upon as if they are doing some service they are doing some gratitude towards them it is not true what they are trying to do is to form yet another different form of one nation one government in the name of federalism but actually it is not federalism it is anti federal politics and anti federal economics unemployment and farming as i said are interrelated and industry and economy are interrelated and education and industry and economy are interrelated unfortunately the budget and the appropriation bill does not give adequate attention to education to farmers to industry and are being told we are being told that this is happening we don't know who is the prime mover who is responsible for unemployment who is responsible for price rise why there is a price rise in the first place why there is price rise of the essential commodities who is holding or who is not holding or what is actually happening why there is a price rise must be first identified and it is the business of the finance department finance ministry and the government to find out why there is price rise and why there is unemployment it is not enough to declare the figures of unemployment CMI has clearly said 
that it is the highest ever unemployment in the country, highest ever. And when unemployment grows, we know what happens. It is the question of economy. Unemployment further affects the economy because the productive age, productive workers, productive age workers are completely denied to contribute to the economy, to the wealth of the nation. And when wealth of the nation does not grow, what we see is the total collapse of the economy. And when total collapse of the economy takes place, we know what happens, a total collapse of politics. We know how Naxalism grew. Naxalism grew in the 60s when the economy was in crisis. And Naxalism grew not only in the Naxalite or the agricultural areas in Bengal and Bihar and Andhra Pradesh, but it also began to spread in the urban centers and in the universities. It was not because the university students were in the agriculture format and were uh, angry like the Naxals, but they found that ideologically, they found that it is interrelated issue. Agricultural unemployment, agricultural crisis, and economic crisis, and political crisis are inter interrelated, and Naxalism grew. The point, therefore, is when you have a misappropriation bill, as my colleague said, or mismanaged economy, what happens is not only growth in general crime or general destabilization of families, it also generates kind of luxurism that we are witnessing many places. Because in many jungles, the tribals are being completely ignored, tribal rights are completely ignored. That clearly shows the class politics because the tribal areas are being given to the big corporates and corporates are particular class. And when that area is handed over to the corporates, given to the certain capitalist class, naturally Adivasis get angry or Adivasis take to arms. And when they take to arms, we call them Naxals and those who support them, we call them urban Naxals and we try to crush them. But by crushing the so-called urban Naxals or by crushing the actual Naxals or by crushing the rural unemployed who are fed up and want to change the system by wrong means, by anarchic means, we crush them and say that Naxalism is growing and Naxalism threat is all over the country. But let us not forget that such threats come when the economy is mismanaged and currently we are seeing economy completely mismanaged and therefore the appropriation bill further shows how the economy is mismanaged. In fact, the fact that we have to bring appropriation bill with so much of amount required clearly shows that the original budget itself was mismanaged. And if such mismanagement grows, I am sure the crisis will further increase. And that increase in crisis can create problems not only outside, outside the house, outside the colleges, outside the farms, but 61% of the population still depend on farming. And that population is likely to grow further if that is unemployment is likely to grow further, agriculture is going to be further depraved. And as my colleague said, every two hours there is one suicide. On the one hand, there is suicide. On the other hand, there is killing. Naxalism is killing. Suicides are self-killing. And therefore, we have to understand that when people suffer, they suffer themselves or they make suffer others. So economic mismanagement can create a multiple level crisis. It is necessary that appropriation bill or the original budget takes care of the socio-political issues, understand that essentially all economics is class economics. Unless you try to develop economics for the benefit of the poor, benefit of the hapless and the helpless, it will not improve economy, it will not improve politics. Thank you very much. Sri Satish Chandra Dube.